Saturday morning. Hope everyone is doing well. I am here again today with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed my video that I uploaded for you that premiered this morning about 7 o'clock. I know it was kind of early, but uh, yeah, I did it on yesterday. But I'm here today and I have a very serious video I want to talk to you guys about today. So let me just get my mood set up. I'm trying to decide what candle I want to use. Uh, do you guys like Bed and Bath? Is it, what is it? Bath and, well, it's not Bed, Bath and Beyond, but it's, uh, what is it? I can't think of the name of the store. Uh, Bath and Body Works. It's one of my favorite places to buy candles and I always get them special. I only get them when they have the specials running when you can get like um, two for a certain amount of money. Like I think it's like two for 20 or something like that. But um, let's see, last night I was burning this one, the uh, Stress Relief. And it is the Eucalyptus Experiment. And this is a, one of my favorite scents. It kind of smells like a, it's like a male scent to me. Hope that's focused. Go in and see. Yeah, there we go. It is mahogany teak wood high intensity. I think I'm gonna burn this one today. I burned this one last night, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get some of this male masculine scent going on in here today. <laughs> Give me a moment. Put this right here in my candle holder. And I'm having my coffee, guys. This morning I'm coffee and chilling. So yeah. But anyway, today I have a video that I want to talk about. Actually, this was um, actually supporting one of my uh, subscribers and a lady that I'm actually subscribed to. Her name is Tracy. Um, Tracy's channel, I think it's Tracy920. And I think I've had actually have mentioned her before, but she had come up with an idea that everyone should do a video about this topic and to raise awareness. And the topic is in, is in regards to all of the young ladies, um, young girls, and young adult women that have become missing. And there is little media coverage. I don't know what that is about. I don't know why it is not making mainstream news. You see it in like little small newspaper articles or social media, but mainstream news like CNN and Fox News have not picked up these stories. And I don't know if it's because people don't believe it, but there are a lot of young ladies um, that have gone missing and it actually has been happening for a while but it has not uh, gotten the coverage. So she came up with the idea that if all of her subscribers, if we just talked about it, just made one video about it across YouTube, that this can actually bring awareness and can get it out and help people to be aware and take precautions. So I'm doing my part by actually supporting that movement and I want to do a video in regards to it. A lot of claims are that these young ladies are victims of sex, sex trafficking as well as organ stealing. And either way, this is a very serious, a very dangerous, a very frightening situation to be in. And I have daughters. And all of us, you know, are related to somebody, a young lady, a... Uh, uh, you have grandchildren, nieces, nephews, friends, you are a daughter, and this is a very serious topic, and I think it needs to be talked about. Why does it seem that whenever it is people of color experiencing some type of tragedy that it takes it a while for it to make the news? or that people actually take it serious. And it's concerning to me, but I'm very worried about um, all of the missing women and young ladies. And I actually had a very serious talk with my daughters about it. I mentioned it, I actually sent them messages and I told them to be vigilant and to be aware and to trust no one. And I have a granddaughter who is seven and she's a very, uh, whew, I don't 
don't know how to even explain her sometimes. She's a, she's a people person. She has this bubbly personality. She loves everyone and she's very talkative. So she meets no strangers. And she's always, you know, asking people, what's your name? And just talking to people. So I, I get very concerned for her because my oldest daughter lives in one of the um, cities where I think has one of the highest rates of missing young ladies, and that's Washington, D.C. So I'm very concerned for her. I'm very concerned for my daughter. And just it, period. I'm very concerned, period. But I'm very concerned because they are in one of the cities that has the highest rate of missing uh, young ladies. But here in Tennessee, it's becoming a... Um, a big thing as well. I seen on the news here locally uh, just last week uh, where they busted up a ring where they were prostituting young girls. So guys, we have to be aware. We have to teach our young ladies from the womb. It used to be you used to wait until your children were older to talk about certain things, but when they're old enough to really understand um where they can comprehend on a level of speaking and listening, it's time to start talking to your children about being careful, being safe, not talking to strangers. I remember, and my children often talk about it now, at that part of life when I was single and I was having to work, I was working two jobs because I was doing the role of providing for the father as well as, as the mother because the father wasn't contributing. So I had to work and it took me out of my home quite a bit and I often worried about my children because they were young. My children were latchkey children because I had to work. And my son, he was the oldest. So I did depend on him a lot to make sure that his sisters were safe and that they followed the rules. And I had very strict rules. When I left at home, no one was to come in or go out of that home while I was away. I don't care who knocked on the door. I recall one time my mother calling me at work and she was stopping by. And I think she was taking something to the kids, maybe something to eat or whatever. And she was knocking on the door and they wouldn't open the door for her. And I said, Mom, it was because I taught them that. I taught them that if I'm not home, you don't make a sound. You get in your quiet spot and you be quiet to the point where nobody knows you're there. So I taught my children that. I taught them not to talk to strangers. I taught, I taught my children um, to run if someone was, you know, driving past them on the street and talking or trying to get them to come. I told them to run and uh, go to a house, knock on the door. And one of the things that I taught them and that they will teach you uh, when, you're, when your children are running and they're screaming, oftentimes it's, it's better to say fire than to say someone is after you because a lot of people don't want to get involved when it comes to like domestic things or physical violence but when you say fire a lot of times people come out because they don't know if their house is on fire or whatever so it brings more people out to see what's happening so I taught them all of that growing up because I wanted them to be safe when I wasn't able to be with them and after my daughter got older, my youngest daughter, once I had been married and divorced, she was still in middle school. You know, she was right at the point of going to high school. I actually purchased pepper spray for her. And I had put it on her keychain because I wanted her to be safe when she was going to school and coming home. So she had to put it in her book bag, but she had her pepper spray. And... I just wanted my daughter to be safe. I did not want to take chances. When my daughter went away to college, I did the same thing. And my oldest daughter, I purchased her pepper spray as well. Because you have to be aware that these things are happening and that you want to give your children an opportunity to get away. But I feel that it's very sad that we are of low value to society that is, it doesn't seem to be that important. Because I do know that if it was any other race, it wasn't people of color, that this would be something that would be reported across mainstream media for months. It would still be going on. 
there was a young lady that was missing abroad and that was on repeat for years. So that's how I know. So I think that the reason why, one of the reasons why we need to be spreading this awareness across it because to get it out, word of mouth can help. It really can. So if you can spread it, spread the news, talk to people, talk to your children, talk to your neighbor's children, you know, do whatever you need to do. When you go to church, talk to the kids, the youth, if you're in any environment, if you're a school teacher, educator, talk to these young ladies about being safe. Talk to them about walking places alone, making sure they're with people, not being out at night, walking around, not talking to strangers. Even on social media, being careful of the people that they interact with, even on this platform here of YouTube, strangers do infiltrate your your channels. I get emails all the time of young men who want to meet me. I had someone meet me, uh, I mean, actually email me and tell me that they actually live in my city and wanted to have dinner. Now, here's the thing. I do know, know people do date um you know, from internet, you know, there's internet dating going on, but personally, that's not for me. I did try it some years back. Personally, it doesn't work for me, but I definitely did feel comfortable because some young man had, you know, seen a lot of my videos and he had one of those profiles with no picture or nothing. So I uh, didn't feel comfortable with that. And I actually expressed that to him. He, needless to say, I'm not saying anything bad in case he still views my videos. He did not say anything negative or mean. But as a woman that has lived a little bit, I know that it's important that I be safe out here in this world. So that wasn't something that I was desiring to do. But it's very important that we educate young ladies about it. And not just, and let me just be clear, not just women of color. We need to educate all young ladies. Let me just say that because I do know that I have viewers that are not just people of color. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be aware. All women should be aware. But this is something that is happening within our community more so than any other community right now. So it's something that's very dangerous that's going on around here and it's being hidden. And it's very frightening to me. So let's just spread the awareness YouTube does a lot to censor certain things. They don't promote a lot of videos that they feel that I guess could be controversial, but they can't stop the video from being out there simply because we're talking about it. So the more people that talk about it, the more awareness it'll bring to it. So I just wanted to jump on and do my part. Thank you, Tracy, for bringing this to my attention and to others. And hopefully this movement of spreading awareness in regards to these women being missing will be reported and we'll do our part as um, women to make sure that we're helping our young ladies to be safe as possible. So that's all I have right now today thank you so much for viewing i'm gonna have my coffee now i'm still eating on the intermittent fasting routine i don't know i got used to it so i kind of like it so i'm gonna wait till around noon and eat my chicken biscuit that i went and got this morning and i guess i'll just nick i guess netflix and chill today i don't know maybe i'll get out a little bit later it's real gloomy right now it's been raining all day long so thank you for watching and I will see you guys in a later video. Remember, always peace, love, and you guys be safe out there, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.